Om Shanti. Welcome to 8th of December's Holy Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to become a goddess of coolness, that is Sheetala Devi. So he says, may you be a self-sovereign, that means have control over your own mind, intellect, habits and automatically having control over your eyes, mouth, ear, nose, hands, legs. That means through which we do karma. May you have a self, may you be, be a self-sovereign and become a goddess of coolness. In brackets, it's mentioned Sheetla Devi by keeping your physical organs cool and peaceful. If the mind is thinking thoughts peacefully, automatically our intellect will choose the right thoughts and we will behave in the right manner. Which will show that we are actually cool within ourselves. The children who are self-sovereigns, that means who have control over their five senses, but before the five senses they have control over their mind, intellect and habits cannot be deceived by any of the physical organs. That means you were not wanting to see something wrong, but you saw something wrong. You didn't want to speak something evil, you ended up speaking. You didn't want to hear anything evil, you ended up hearing evil. So that is not someone who is self-sovereign. When the mischief that causes deception finishes and all your physical organs remain cool, all your physical organs remain cool, you will become a goddess of coolness. As simple as that. A goddess of coolness never has anger because it's coolness. Some say that they do not have anger but that they do have to be a little bossy. Otherwise people won't listen to me. And God says our bossiness is a progeny of anger. You're trying to get people to do things as per your wish. Means if they don't do it, anger. Where there is some trace of it, all of its progeny are created. So, you are gods and goddesses of coolness and this is why you must not allow any sanskars or habits of anger or bossiness to emerge even in your dreams. And let me show him his place or let me show her his her place. No, this is not what the god and goddesses of coolness do. And this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, how to be cool. I am shanting this.